Hi, we have here a spring, originally this long, and with a mass hanging on it, it comes, in, it comes to equilibrium uh, at an extension of x naught. Now let's stretch it further by an amount of x naught, and we let go of it. Obviously, it's going to go into oscillation. Um, with an amplitude of x naught. So here is the equilibrium position. This is the lowest position, and this is the highest position of the oscillation. Clearly, during the oscillation, the GPE, elastic PE, and KE of the SHM will vary uh, as different position of the oscillation. And we're going to plot the variation on this graph here. So the equilibrium position will be right here, and we'll put the highest position here and the lowest position here. Let's start with the GPE. The GPE is going to increase uh, from the lowest point all the way to the highest point. And it's going to be a straight line graph. A straight line because GPE is MGH. At the lowest point, height is 0. At the equilibrium position, the height is x0. And at the highest position, the height will be 2x0. So mgh varies linearly with distance. Now the elastic potential energy. The elastic potential energy is going to increase uh, from the highest point to the lowest point as the spring becomes more and more stretched. At the highest point, the extension is zero for this particular um, question. At the equilibrium position, the extension will be x0. And at the bottom position, the extension is 2x0. So the EP is going to start from zero here and increase quadratically towards the lowest position. And since the extension is doubled from here to here, the elastic potential energy is going to go from one time to four times. So there's going to be a point here, a point here, and there's a point here where you get you know, four times. So let me uh, join these three points with a smooth quadratic curve. Ta-da! So let me write here EPE is half k e square. Now you may be asking how I know that this, the EPE here at the lowest position is equal to the GPE at the highest position. The reason is because we know that the ke is zero at the two extreme positions. And if we were to add up these three forms of energy, we should get a constant. So at the lowest position, we have nothing but the EPE. At the highest position, we have nothing but the GPE. So these two values has to be the same. In fact, I can draw a horizontal line right across here and call it the total energy, which is the GPE plus EPE plus KE. OK, now let's get back to the kinetic energy. So as I said, the KE should be 0 here and here. And we know that the KE should be maximum at the equilibrium position. But uh, how much KE should we draw in our graph? So again, the three forms of energy should add up to a constant. Since the total has got to be 4 units, and we have 2 units of GPE, and one unit of EPE, the amount of KE should be one unit, right? Somewhere here. So it's a quadratic graph. So I'm going to join up these three points with a quadratic curve. So that is our KE. And I hope you, are, you know how to write the formula for KE. It's just half mv square. But for the v square, I'm going to write it as omega square x0 square minus x square. Now, 
if we were to add up the GPE and the EPE at every point, meaning the black line and the blue line, what we get should be the total potential energy of the mass. And the result of this addition will give us a quadratic curve. So this, this dashed uh, green line represents the summation of GPE and EPE. Now, be careful, I wouldn't call this and this the total energy and potential energy of the oscillation. The potential energy of SHM ought to be zero as the equilibrium position. So if I, if I want to sketch the potential energy of SHM, I ought to bring this line down such that it has a value of zero as the equilibrium position. This will uh, result in this familiar U-shaped uh, curve. And so that's the potential energy of the oscillation, which has the formula half m omega square x square. And likewise, the total energy of the oscillation should be a horizontal line at this level. That's all. Ta-ta!